Hey, today we're going to talk about this woman who dressed up like a cat to show that you can't just become a cat because you say you're a cat in front of a school board. So we're going to we're going to watch this video. It's very short and we're going to discuss this matter. So if you're interested in what's going on in our schools and in society, stay tuned. <music> So here we have this um, woman dressed in a cat suit, and she's got a couple of minute long speech. I'll probably interrupt it a couple of times, and um, yeah, just um, take it all in. This is at a school board meeting. Let's watch this. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. By show of hands, I'm curious uh, how many of you believe and confess that I'm a cat? Great. I am, by show of hands, I'm curious how many of you believe that your child or a child from this school would believe that I'm actually a cat? No one. You are right. Why? Because you are not stupid and these children are not stupid. Okay. The, you know, uh, you, you've seen a lot of these uh, things about school where the kids are dressing up and saying they're dogs or cats and they're using litter boxes. And I've heard that's not even happening, but... That's what she's doing because she's mad at a at an educator. They haven't specified if he's like a principal or a teacher, but anyway, this is what it's about. Truth prevails over imagination. Reality exists. Discernment is innate and something we are biologically wired to have. One look at me and you know this to be true. I am a woman posing as a cat. You may also think correctly that if I truly believe I'm a cat, I have a mental disorder. If I suffer from a mental disorder, and if I am unable to discern reality, am I safe to be around children? Would you put me in charge of making critical decisions about the safety and well-being of children? Now, you know, guys who know me, I'm, I'm a liberal. I'm, you know, I'm for people being who they are and all that stuff. But when they started coming out as cats and dogs and... And then also with uh, transgender people, I don't, they can say whatever they want and they can give, you know, give them IDs and everything that they want. That's, I want them to be able to be who they are. But to say that you're a woman when you still have all your male body parts and all that, you're a trans woman, but you're not a woman. And so, and that's what this guy is. So let's keep watching and about the direction of their education when I cannot even discern truth from fiction. Confession, I'm not actually a cat, guys, just because I say no, I am. I'm not a cat. You've not agreed to or committed to addressing me as a cat simply because I demand it. No tail, whiskers, or outfit makes me a cat. Just like no lipstick, high heels, or long hair makes him a man, a woman. It is just as biologically impossible for me to become a cat as it is for a man to be a woman. Do you believe that the actions of a grown man playing dress up as a woman affects the students and staff positively or negatively? A public school is not the place for social experiments in altered realities or gender ideologies. It is not the place to celebrate a grown man with a mental illness, dressing as a woman and teaching kids lies. What you're actually doing is worse than just lying to our kids. You are forcing them to be participants in your lie, in your charade. I ask you again, Am I a cat? And if you say no, then the mindset must be aligned with your discernment across the board. By allowing a falsity to be displayed and paraded around the school, you teach children that truth is not existent. Let me just stop right there. It's almost, she's almost done with her part, but I brought, I brought this up. I made a shorts video about this, and what I equated this to, it's really, okay, Every year around, I don't know, around about ha Halloween, actually, before Halloween, actually, people start getting ready for Christmas, and they, there's this little man that runs around all over town. He's in every, every shopping mall in the world. He brings all the toys to all the children. He is a Santa, he is Santa Claus. He dresses up like Santa Claus. He is Santa Claus. So, if you're going to talk about lying to children, we've been lying to children since the beginning of whenever they started the pagan celebration of Christmas with Santa Claus. 
I mean, we've been dressing up and, and lying to our children for our forever, really. So I don't know about that being a lie. I think that society needs to allow people to, to do certain things, but I don't know. I mean, if a man's coming up to school dressed like a woman, yo, I'm old. So I remember back in the 90, early 90s, there was a professor at, at the university I went to who dressed in a, uh, a slender skirt. I forgot what that's called, just a skirt and high heel shoes and he would go to restaurants or uh you know bars or something and sit at the counter and we all just thought that was so crazy can we say spokesman now because i mean you know we stop saying actors and actresses a lot of people have and do we say spokesman because that's very confusing when you've got a trans person who is male to female, and you don't want to call them man, but yet, if that was a woman, we would call them a woman. It's very confusing. Pronouns are very confusing. I know they're confusing for for you all, as they are for me, and I'm not anti-trans. I'm just, it's just an odd situation, the way things are going, and I just find it to be kind of um Difficult to talk about. I just, I want to find out, like, what is causing so much of this to just crop up right now? Is it just a trend? Is that, I mean, is it the trending factor? Is that why so many kids are coming out as a different gender? I, I don't know. Maybe you guys know. And facts are not real, and biology is a lie. If you were to address me as a cat right now, it's as ridiculous as when you say Miss Bixler and a grown man's voice comes thundering over this. Thank you. So that's the end of her little So, speech. Lindsay, what was that? And this is on Fox News. I don't like Fox News, but that's who had her on. So I just wanted to see what she says about it. Actually happening at this school district that made you have to dress up as a cat to, to prove, prove your point. point. This was a local school um, in my neighborhood where there was a member of the school board whose name is Paul Bixler. He is a man. He's very clearly a man. And the only thing he does to identify as a female is put lipstick on. Uh, he grew his hair out a little bit and he wears his deceased wife's clothing to school. And believe it or not, he actually demands on being identified one of two ways, either Paul, which is a man's name, of course, or Miss Bixler. So it's very clear that he has a gender identity crisis. But it takes a lot for somebody to just change to be gender. Well, I don't even know how to say all these words. I mean, I know how to say the words, but gender conforming. Um, he's lived his whole life as a man, and now he's an adult, and he's in the business world, or, you know, at the school, working at a working. And now he's going to say that he's a, a woman. And I know people do and have come out as other as the other gender later in life like this. I, I understand that. But as a society, like how are we supposed to meld in? How are we supposed to how are people supposed to explain that to their children? That Mr. Bixler, who last year at school was Miss Bixler, who last year was Mr. Bixler at school, is now wearing women's clothes. And how do you explain that to your child? And so what are your thoughts? Do you think that a if a person says, I am female, because they've changed the way they dress and that's how they feel that they they think they're female okay male to female do you think they're female do you think that that we can just change our gender like that and say hey i'm this or that i don't think we can like thanks for watching and please subscribe if you want more content like this